With the increase in smart building automation systems, the need for wireless, battery-powered sensor nodes is growing. This training module is the first in a series that covers battery-based sensor nodes for building automation applications. This module will give a brief overview of existing building automation system architectures, future building automation architectures, sensor node types, and key sensor node requirements. Future modules will take a look at several specific implementations of sensor nodes, diving into the details of analog sensor design, power topology, and wireless connectivity. Current building automation systems typically comprise of a central control panel and many individual nodes. The control panel can be for fire alarm, intrusion control, lighting control, heating ventilation and air conditioning control, or elevator control. The nodes themselves can perform a wide variety of functions typically falling into the sensor or actuator categories. For this training, we'll focus primarily on the sensor category. For example, current HVAC systems will typically have thermostats to measure temperature and humidity throughout a building and communicate that data back to the central control panel. However, readings from a single thermostat can be unreliable depending on where they are placed. A solution is to add more sensor nodes to provide a better idea of the true environmental conditions in the building. As the need for more and more sensors in a building increases, the cabling and installation costs for powering and communicating with these nodes will increase. Both new and older buildings that will have sensor nodes retrofitted will have to consider these system level costs when evaluating the benefits of creating a smart building. One solution to the system level costs of wired sensor nodes in smart buildings is to move to wireless battery power nodes. The overall architecture of the building system doesn't change except that all sensor node data is transmitted wirelessly back to the central control panel. The main benefit to this system architecture includes reduced installation costs as well as post-installation flexibility. Since a wireless battery-powered sensor node needs only to be attached to a wall and connected to the wireless network, installation is very simple and quick. If the building needs change over time, sensor nodes can be relocated easily since no new wiring needs to be run to the new sensor node locations. For the same reason, retrofit installation in older buildings is simple. This system topology has the potential to upgrade all existing buildings into smart buildings, potentially reducing overall building energy consumption by a significant amount. Sensor nodes are required to measure a wide variety of parameters. These include environmental parameters, such as temperature, pressure, and ambient light, which can all be used to make decisions about the environmental settings in the building. Motion detection, occupancy detection, and people counting are also important parameters to prevent wasted energy in smart buildings. When a building can know the environmental and occupancy characteristics to a fine degree of granularity, better decisions can be made to reduce energy consumption in the building. To achieve the goal of a truly smart building system, it is vital to have a broad set of sensor nodes available to provide all the necessary data back to the central control panel. To eliminate high installation costs, sensor nodes ought to be battery powered and communicate wirelessly. To eliminate labor costs associated with changing batteries frequently, the overall power consumption of each sensor node must be extremely low. To eliminate the complexity associated with transmitting large amounts of data to a central control panel, each sensor node must be capable of pre-processing that data before transmitting any information. To achieve extremely long battery life, sensor nodes will typically have an operating profile as shown. There will be an on state where the sensor node measures some physical parameter, does some processing on that data, and then potentially transmits that information back to the central control panel. The off state is when one or more parts of the sensor node are in extremely low power standby or shutdown state. Some sensor nodes only need to measure the sense parameter intermittently, but some need to measure continuously to avoid missing an event. For example, temperature and humidity are parameters that don't typically change quickly, and thus can be measured only at preset intervals, while completely shutting off the sensing components during the off state. However, motion detectors, which are usually implemented with passive infrared technology, need to continuously sample since motion in a building won't necessarily occur at regular intervals.